I made the most hilariously effective VSL of all time, and I've used the same exact structure and the same scripting framework to throw about $5 million of business through this right now. But the example I want to give to you in this video is for this one specific VSL on my placement offer. Now, on three separate occasions so far, my sales team has come to me and they said, this person is going to buy, but they really want to talk to you because they really like the video and they want to find out how you're doing this. So before I get into showing you what exactly to say inside the VSL, there's going to be a category of you who say no one else in my industry has a VSL. SEO agencies don't need a VSL. This type of business doesn't need a VSL. Now, let me try to explain this to you in the most logical sense as conceivably possible. In what situation is you being on a video and presenting a value proposition and sales argument and explaining what you do and showing the results you're able to provide? In what situation ever does that result in you getting less business? Can you please point out any specific instance where having a good VSL results in you making less money? Please explain to me how that one actually occur, right? Every single person, if you have a good VSL caveat, it must be actually good. It will nearly 100% of the time result in you getting significantly more calls booked, significantly more leads and significantly more sales. And the reason why this is, is because it's a different framing that I like to use when making a VSL than most people do. The way I like to make VSLs is to morph the sales call as close to an order taking call as possible. So let's think about the structure of a sales call. You're going to go through the discovery. You're going to ask them about their situation. And then you have to give a whole pitch and you have to explain everything you're doing. So what if explaining everything you're doing and the evidence that you're actually capable of getting results and your sales argument and your value proposition was already given to them in the first place, right? Wouldn't that make your sales process significantly easier? Because that is exactly what has happened to us. It has made everything easier. It has made our sales calls close significantly higher. So if you would like to get results like this, I'm going to tell you exactly what to say in a VSL. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's not going to be a verbatim script. Do this, do this, do this, do this. I'm not telling you the exact syntax to use, but what I'm going to give you is significantly more useful than that. Now, the best way for me to explain this is to tell you a story. So we spun up an offer and then we had a standard five minute, six minute video that was just a, a broad explainer of kind of how the offer worked and we were throwing people through that. And now what happens, we booked about 40, 50 sales calls through that. And what I did from here was I told my sales team, send me the recordings of all of the calls. I want every single recording. And I'd go through and I'd go through these recordings and I'd take a little note card right here and I'd write down the questions that people would ask. Uh, see another question, write that down. See another question, write that down. If the question was repeated, I'd put a tally next to it. And I'd go through all of these calls and at a certain point you have all of the questions and you have tallies on them. Now, at the end of this, I have a bunch of note cards which with a bunch of tallies and I can see what are the most frequently asked questions. And just by raw mathematical nature, if you put those questions in descending order based off of how many tallies that exist within them, it will by definition be the exact sequence order that a person will logically ask when being sold to. They must know the questions to this and then this after that and then this after that, and then this after that, and then this after that. And that is exactly how you arise into the situations where somebody gets on a call and they say, I was watching the video and it felt like you were reading my mind because you quite literally were because you crowdsource the data, put it in descending order. And then that's the logical sequence with which they ask questions in the first place. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you the exact syntax to write on a VSL. But what I am going to tell you to do is just make the VSL a descending order of the most frequently asked questions that you get on your calls in the first place. And this is the most wildly effective shit I've ever employed ever in my life. And the best way for me to help you understand this is if you're ever running ads, you're running ads and, you, and you're trying to get qualified calls, you want people who are making like 10K a month or more. If you were running that, typically what would happen is a good cost per call at scale is something like $200 to $300 per call. 
we through that VSL are getting 80 to $90 calls because I answer every single question that someone could ever conceivably have in just the descending order with which they're going to ask it in the first place. It works so hilariously well. So you need to do this. I absolutely promise if you do this, it's going to make your life so much easier. It's going to make your sales call so much easier because what happens is you guys, you don't have a VSL and then you get in the calls and you have to sit here and go into this pitch. The whole purpose of the VSL is just to make the sales calls easier. And this has happened time and time and time again, people inside client sense that they didn't have a VSL and then we helped them write a VSL. And I know it's a pain to get on the camera if you've never done it before and, and say a script and do this. I know it really sucks, it's super annoying, but I promise it's going to make your life so wildly easier in terms of the sales process. Do it, it's gonna work. Go watch this video next, I love you.